of those games, George, where you were damned if you did and damned if you didn't? Really? Uh, yeah, I mean, look, you know, it's, you, you never know what team you're, you're going to be um, playing against, and obviously, you know, we're respectful of the fact that Bath sent a lot of young players, so um, you know, that's the approach they're taking, obviously, to get some experience into those boys, but. The focus for us this week was let's focus on ourselves. As I say, you don't know who you're going to be up against, so let's make sure we're really hard on our processes and work hard on our fundamentals and try and push our game forward. And you know, I thought the boys did a great job of that. I think it's uh, sometimes when you get a bit of a lead, it's easy to drop off and you know the games become sticky. But I thought, you know, obviously it happens occasionally. But I thought for 80 minutes there, the boys were pretty relentless. It must be very pleasing. Five tries in the first half, but you didn't relent, did you? No, exactly. And that that is that is the challenge when you get games like this. Is you know, not to take your foot off the gas and, and keep being relentless. So there's a lot of good young guys as well got out there, got some exposure and, and got a feel for it. You know, young Louis Hillman Cooper getting on at the end, that's his, his first proper hit out. And the two young wingers, I thought they were great. Did it prove to you you could integrate these youngsters into the system you're trying to adopt? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think we, we did a lot of that last year, as you know, and, and sometimes there was a lot of lads in there at one time. Um, but yeah, great to get them in around a bit of experience like Billy, um, you know, and some of the pack in there, obviously, the, you know, Clement and uh, Thomas getting in there with a few of the senior lads, it's, it's really beneficial for them. And you've got that strength in depth that wide, haven't you? A lot of pace out wide on the flanks. Yeah, I thought, I'd say, I thought those two were outstanding today, actually. You know, Kyle was brilliant at, at full back, and obviously they would have thrived with him bossing them around there and Lloyd at the back end of the game. But yeah, I thought they really, you know, they ran hard, they were keen to get involved, and, and they worked really hard off the ball to get their hands on the ball, which is a key point for a winger. I think five tries coming for the line out again, the driving one continues to bring a real profit, doesn't it? Yeah, we work really hard on them all and I think you know it's you know it's good to get the reward out of it. I thought we were we were charging towards the line at the end actually there, about five metres out, um, and didn't quite get the, the final score there. But yeah, the boys work hard in that area and it's good to get paid for it. I guess you'll be expecting a tougher challenge from Exeter next weekend, so it's easy to get swamped in the positives in a game like this. What have you got to work on for seeing that game? Oh, look, I mean, there was a lot of action, wasn't there? So we'll go back through it. But there was plenty to work on. There was plenty of sticky bits. You know, I thought in the in the first half, there were moments we could have we could have scored more tries. We could have been a bit more clinical. Um, but to be honest, there was so much happened. I, I really got to go back through the game. And the supporters always enjoy a victory over the half of course. And do they enjoy the night out? Yeah, absolutely. It was, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a derby weekend, isn't it? And um, yeah, it's great to have things home rocking. And what a great crowd for a, a Prem Cup game as well. So. You know, we're really grateful when everyone turns up and screams and shouts and, and hopefully we gave them something to be proud of tonight.